amen he is our righteousness amen he is our strength amen he is our strong tower he is our refuge this morning he is our God in him who we can trust with our life amen with our everything amen God is wonderful and we give him the praise this morning because he deserves the honor amen he deserves the glory amen I thank him because he woke me up this morning he put me in my right mind he has been keeping me I could not keep myself but God has kept me through these years and I'm thankful for all that he has done for me the fact that he gave his life on the cross of Calvary that my sins can be forgiven amen today I'm still on top of my grave to make my wrongs right and I give him all the praise this morning. I worship him as a king of kings, as a lord of lords, as a conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, as the I am that I am, the Alpha and the Omega. He is my beginning, he is my ending, he is my author and my finisher this morning. He is the rock and wish I stand up give him all the praise this morning all the glory and all the honor because truly it belongs to him hallelujah amen God thank you Jesus amen God blessed be the name of Jesus God we give you praise and glory and honor God we thank you this morning for who you are and we thank you Jesus for who you continue to be God you are the faithful one amen God you are the on time one Amen, God, you are our help in times of trouble. God, you are our provider in time of need. God, you are our healer. Amen, in time of sickness. And you are our strength. Amen, God, when we grow weak and we recognize you as Lord and Savior and King. Amen, many trust in chariots and in horses, but we will trust and remember the name of the Lord our God, eternal God. Most righteous, everlasting Father, in the name of your holy son, Jesus, amen. I give you praise this morning and honor. Thank you, Lord, for this another day that you have made. Help us to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Giving praise and glory and thanks to you, oh God, for what you have done for us. Mighty God, as I stand this morning, amen, to bring a word, oh God, of myself. I cannot do it, but God, I know you can. And so I depend on you wholly and solely. God, I surrender my will, my way to you, my mind, my spirit. Amen. God, I pray for a fresh touch. Amen. God, from the crown of my head to the very sole of my feet, let me not speak what I think. Mighty God, somebody wants to hear, but let me speak, mighty God, what you know that somebody needs need to hear this morning. Remove me, oh God, deliver me from myself this morning. Let no flesh and no self be seen, but let a demonstration of your Holy Spirit, God, take preeminence this morning. Mighty God, I pray for your anointing to rest upon me because, God, it is your anointing that break and destroy the yoke. Touch every mother this morning, oh God, breathe upon them. Those whose hearts are broken. Mighty God, touch another time. Strengthen, mighty God, revive and renew in the name of Jesus, Paul, somebody, oh God, a mother is crying. Even now, God, whatever the situation that face, or we pray that God, you will touch. Oh God, have you way in me and through me this morning? God, I give you the praise for what you're about to do. God, I said a word will accomplish that which you sent it to. Mighty God, send a word to somebody this morning. Mighty God, strengthen somebody, encourage somebody. God, I don't, amen, God, entrusted to be seen or to be heard, oh God, but that the Christ, amen, God, the hope of glory will demonstrate your love and your mercy to somebody again. Have your way in me and through me. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, God. You may be seated in the presence of the Almighty God. I give honor to God this morning is definitely my life without him I'm nothing and I honestly choose to be nothing amen without him he is my everything and I give him the praise amen that he has saved me and he has been keeping me I make mistake I messed up but I thank God Amen, that he's a forgiver. Amen, he's a restorer this morning. I give him all the praise to our worthy bishop and pastor in their absence. Amen, Bishop Alton Samuels, the Reverend Dr. Melanie Samuels, to our youth pastor, Tamara Dawson, to our minister in training, evangelist Monica Reed, evangelist ministers, 
Saints in Christ, everyone, in your respective year, I greet you in the name of Jesus. And I say happy Mother's Day to every mother out there, grandmothers, godmothers, amen, biological mothers, adopted mothers, amen. We have so many mothers, women who our mothers never give birth, but they play a vital role in somebody's life. We say happy Mother's Day to you. To those in media land, we say happy Mother's Day and I greet you in the name of Jesus. And this morning, amen, my scripture is taken from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1 to 4, amen. And it reads as follows, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Amen. And my topic is, do you really love your mother? And we'll say the scripture, Hebrews 4, 2, verse 1. Therefore, I will give them more earnest heed to the things which I have heard, lest at any time I should let them slip. Amen. Praise God. This morning... It's Mother's Day. We already know that. We established that quite a few times. Today is a day that is celebrated as Mother's Day. It is set aside for kids, amen, to lavish their, peer, their mothers one way or another, amen, the day when we hear how much we are loved and appreciated, amen. Some are genuine, some are not, amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Some children just get in the moment, in the trend, and um, just follow the swing of the time. Amen. Whatever is going on, they don't want to be left out. We have social media. They want to post that I gave my mother a gift. I took my mother out. I did this or I did that. Amen. Motherhood is the hardest job ever. Most stressful job ever. But it is the best job. Amen. I have five children and I am a new grandmother. Amen. And thank God I have no regrets. I honestly don't have any regrets. And I would not trade my children for no other. Amen. In ancient days we see in the Bible where women were being reproached and ridiculed. Amen. For not having children. Amen. They were sad and stressed out. Amen. They would give anything to have even one child. Children transform our lives in one way or another. Amen. You're going to be a sad mother or a glad mother, a stressed mother or a peaceful mother, but still a mother. And nothing can change you being a mother. Amen. This morning, my topic is, as I said, do you really love your mother? Amen. As mother, when we give birth or when we find that we're pregnant, whether in wedlock or out of wedlock, we're pregnant. And sometimes we're confused because sometimes we're not really, we think we're not really ready. Amen. And we begin to think uh, a lot of things, your decisions to make, your life is going to change. Amen. It is going to change one way or another. I mentioned that already. And so you begin to Put things in perspective, whatever needs to be put into place. you got to prepare yourself and get yourself ready for this child that you're going to give birth to. Amen. And the first time, uh, when you give birth to a child, the nurse would give you the child to hold on to your skin, say, begin to bond with your child. But I know for myself, I can say the very first time I found, felt my child move in my stomach, the bond didn't begin. Amen. <laughs> I wanted to start protecting my child, amen? I wanted to start doing what is right for my child. When I'm pregnant, I'm sick up to nine months, and honestly, I am sick. The first pregnancy I had that I was in church up and about was with Kezia, my last child that I have here in America. I remember I was sick and staying home, and one Friday evening, the woman of God called me, Reverend Dr. Melanie Samuel. She called me, and she said, why are you not in church? And I say, I'm not feeling well. She said, get up, put on your clothes, come to church. No pregnancy is not a sickness. Amen. And she said that, and I had to be up and in church. And I thank God for that day I was in church until I give birth. Amen. So I thank God today. Amen. 
Your life change when you give birth to a child and you begin to put yourself aside. Some parents neglect themselves. If your child needs a shoes and you need one, assuredly you're going to get the shoes for the child. Amen? If you have the last piece of food and your child needs you're going to give it to that child. We begin to neglect ourselves, set ourselves aside. Many mothers have dreams and aspirations. They have, um, they want to be this in life. They wanted this career. They wanted to do that with their life. And some mothers, they're not rich. Amen? To support two lives amen some mothers can afford a nanny to come in watch your kids some can't they gotta stay home and take care of their children they put their school in they put their everything on hold and sometimes when they realize they hop to five six children and never do anything for themselves amen and today we are in a time and society when everything seems to break down to a low amen Children forget, amen, the sacrifices that mothers make, amen. They trample upon your emotion, and today is not bashing the children's day, but I'm just going to speak as I feel in my spirit because it's the truth. Mothers are hurting and really, really hurting, amen. I'm not interested in a gift that my child gives. I won't be ungrateful. Yes, I appreciate. Thank you. It's okay. But I want my child to live a life that is pleasing to God. I want my child to live a life, amen, that I can look, amen, and be happy, amen. I want my child to be obedient. Oh, my God, when your children are disobedient, it is a hell of a touch to your heart, amen. Because many mothers have been there, done that, and we know what it takes. We know what lies in this hurt. We know what's happening. And I believe because children know so much about the media these days, and you might say, can you show me how to do this? Can you show me how to do that? I think they believe they know more than you. But when it comes, amen, to the things that keeps you safe in this world, the mothers are experienced. We know it, amen? For Christian mothers, we spend times at night just praying, praying and crying before God sometimes. And I'm talking from experience Sometimes you cannot sleep. You just toss your turn. And I realize that the children that you pray most for are the ones that gives you the most trouble. But are you going to stop praying? No, you cannot. Amen. Now is the time where we got to stretch out, lay on our belly for our children. Because the devil is out like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. The Bible said that, young man, I call upon you. Because you're strong and the word is true. Whatever the word says, that's what it is. And the devil knows that and he wants to take them out. But in the name of Jesus, amen, we will continue to labor for our children. We'll continue to fast and to pray them up and pray them true. Because one thing I know, that God is a prior answering God. Amen. But we implore our children, mothers are hurting it is hard no matter what you think or say amen no matter how we say i'm not gonna pay you no mind i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna do that we have to we cannot it is a building mechanism we have to reach out whenever you're in trouble we are coming out here to get you wherever you are whatever the situation may be we are coming to get you i will not mark my kids wrong as right i will never do that but i will not tell anybody that i will not reach out and try to rescue my dying children this morning amen parents are hurting and it's a wonderful time set aside to say mom I appreciate it but do you really mean it when mother's day is past and gone tomorrow how do you treat your mother how do you see your mother when your mother's calling you on the phone to find out where you are do you hiss your teeth put down the phone and say later I know what she's calling me to say I'm not gonna answer I'll talk to her later and we're there considering amen is this child hurt is this child in problem what's happening what is not this child answering phone and we keep on calling and calling and you say you love us it is not love you gotta check yourself you gotta look into yourself children 
big children, small children, every children, because adults treat their parents bad also. But this morning, amen, is a day for you to look into yourself, amen, and know that they're mothers who are hurting, crying, amen, stressing out, amen, need a child to realize that what I'm saying and the way that I'm trying to lead you is the right way, amen. Somebody, amen, can say this morning, I've never been to the courthouse. I've been there. Never thought it would happen to me, but I have been there. And oh my God, when I'm sitting there and, ah, oh God, I'm by myself. No, I'm not killing any fathers or anything. But when the fathers would get up and go to work, you can't go. When the fathers would lay down in their beds and sleep, you cannot sleep. Amen? Everything is rest upon you. They'd say, it's going to be fine. That's good, a good prophecy, and I thank you for saying that. But sometimes when you're going through with your children, you can't even find the father to stand with you. If you could have somebody even just to hold your hand, amen, to be there with you. And you're going through all by yourself, amen, God, Jesus. You're going through all by yourself, the pain, the hunger, the anticipation. You're wondering what is the result going to be, what is going to happen, amen. And when you look at the children, you pray for the children, you encourage the children, you talk to. I was listening to a preacher yesterday today that say if you only love your kids hug your kids tell them you love them tell them this and that they will not go amen to a certain mile in life yes they're gonna go there because they think they know more than you do they are gonna go there so mothers prepare yourself today might not be your day and I'm not prophesying anything to happen to any mother because I know what the heartache feel like and sometimes you go through some things and you would not wish it and your worst enemy amen but this morning prepare yourself just in case mighty God I experience amen teenage pregnancy in my life amen it's i'm not gonna be ashamed to talk i might be helping somebody and when i look amen and last year and my daughter was sick throwing up very sick in the house and i bring her to the here and i'm there running from hospital to hospital trying to find out why is she throwing up why is she not feeling well and i'm um, in one night, late night, I was from even to Manhattan because I rushed to urgent care. When I went, they just closed. I had to drive back to Brooklyn, went to Kings County, and I was there until the morning light with this child. And it never occurred to me, not even for a second, that this child was pregnant. Not even for a moment. And I believe, I pray a little, I pray, amen. And God didn't show me this or anything. I begin to say, I'm not going to let you eat papayas anymore because she eats a lot of papayas. And I say, when you feel better, I'm not going to allow you to eat papayas. I'm thinking it's some stale oil. I'm thinking it's too much chicken. And I'm thinking everything. Oh, my God. And I'm running up with this child and trying to make sure she's okay. And the day when I found out, when I get the call, she's pregnant. My God, I couldn't cry. I couldn't scream. I couldn't do nothing. I just... I was doing some dishes and I realized I was trembling really bad. I was trembling. I was trembling. And I didn't know what I couldn't say nothing. I was just trembling. Oh God. And amen. I could just call the name of Jesus at the moment. Amen. Oh God. Thank you, Jesus. I was out of it. And I didn't know what to do with myself. Amen. I didn't know what to do. But I thank God and I begin to think I'm a minister. What was what this going to look in my house? She's living in my house. So it's going to look what's going to happen. Amen. Praise God. In Jamaica, they would set you aside. But I thank God for the wisdom of the man and woman of God that is in this house. And again, I want to say thank you to every brethren, those that stand with me and didn't let me feel the way I was feeling. Amen. I came out of it. And I thank God she has a beautiful bouncing baby girl. And I love my grandchild. Amen. I love my grandchild. My one son that I have. These are the two children that I pray for more than 
anything else in the world. They are the two that I pray for my one son. And this boy seems to be getting in trouble, getting in trouble, getting in trouble. And when I'm telling him and I'm trying to show him and say I'm hurting, remember this is happening in my body. And when I stress, this will happen. And it seems like he doesn't care. But I just got to pray and trust God. Children, do you really, really love your mothers? You got to put into consideration what we're going through. I prefer for you to obey me than give me a gift. It's not necessary. Don't go all out to get me a gift. Go all out to live a life that is pleasing, to live a life that my blood pressure will stay on a level. Children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment with promise. The Bible said that it may be well with you. It is for your very own good that you may live long on this hurt. When we look young men and young women, they are being gone down. Mighty God, young men is in, amen, God, Dear, amen. Young woman in prostitution, young men being homosexual, young girls being lesbians, and this is not right before God. And they will not listen, they will not hear the company that you keep. The spirit will rub onto you. You'll be keeping a homosexual friend, and you say, I'm not that, I'm not gonna be that. But it's a strong spirit, and before you know it, you can be bound up in this situation, and it's a hard spirit to fight. Yes, the spirit of God is powerful and all spirits have to be subjected unto the spirit and power of God but it's a hard demons to fight. Mighty God, hear the cry of your mothers. We labor, we pray, we see God, we ask questions about your lives and God has given us the wisdom, the knowledge and the understanding amen to teach you what is right and what is wrong. We don't want to mess up your life. We don't want to you to live a boring life. We want you to live a safe life. In this time that we are living in, the influence on the outside is very bad. And yes, you see in the house of God, our young men, our young women are seeking friendship on the outside. Amen. How can two walk together unless they agree? If you say you're a Christian, your friend is an unsafe, what are you going to talk about? And I come to realize that unrighteousness, mighty God, the ones that are saved, always influence the ones that claim to be saved and pull them out and destroy their lives. Many get a chance to come back and many don't. So today is a day to look into yourself as we celebrate Mother's Day. And know that many mothers are hurting. And when you give a gift, we say thank you. It's the right thing to do. But we are saying, oh my God, if this child should just get it. Uh, mighty God, right and keep it right. I uh, know what I want for their lives. Uh, amen. Thank you, Jesus. I want to hear again that Delisa, she's been saved and baptized. And she walked out of the will of God, did her thing. But I thank God. Amen. There are some bad things in her life that God will always turn it around for your good. When we call prayer in the home, she's the one that gives the most problem to get up. When you tell her to sing, she move her lip, no words. When it's her time to pray, nothing. Amen. And by the time she said, mm, she was done. Hoping, uh, did you really? You fin yes, yeah, she's finished praying. Not a word. In church, is the same thing. And thanks be to God. Call prayer in my home and this girl prayed. Amen. I believe when I come to realize that during her down moment and season, she begin to read the Bible. She begin to repent, repent. She asks God, I come to realize she asks God to forgive her so many times that it's not funny. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And I thank God. Amen. I'm not glad that she have a child out of wedlock. It's no Christian mother's desire. But it happened and I believe that God is doing something in her life and that God is going to raise her up. So don't be discouraged when some things happen to your children. That's why I say this morning, 
Continue to pray for them. Continue to labor for them. Because once God allow them to come through some situation, they will come out, amen, to surprise and surprise others around your mothers. Be encouraged. Amen. Be encouraged. Amen. The road is not easy. But God will help us. God will see us through. He promised that he will grant us the desires of our hearts. Amen. And once it is good desire and it's in the will of the Lord he will work it out I'm trusting God that they're going to raise up amen and be mighty woman and man of God amen sometimes you got to leave off praying for your children and begin to pray for somebody else's children amen and when you're praying for somebody else's children God will work in the behalf of your children's life that's how God is amen so we got to pray one for another encourage each other amen my God, strengthen each other. Encourage, don't tear down. And when we see something happen to somebody, we begin to say, Lord, oh, she can pray, oh, she can preach, oh, she can do this and do that. And look what her children are doing. Amen. Sometimes you cross your eyes at somebody and God will allow something to happen to you that you can look and realize that you're not independent. Anything can happen to you. Sympathize with others. Pray for somebody when something is going wrong in their life. And know that the Bible tell us that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. I use that scripture so much because it helped me to know that when somebody hurt you, when the children hurt you, it's not them so much. It's the devils and demons that has come to capture their mind, to try to take over their lives and to destroy them. Amen. So you gotta rebuke this charge and dispel every plan of the enemy. You gotta break some stronghold in your house. And when the children don't want to pray, you pray. Call them to prayer. And when they're sitting there don't want to do nothing you continue to pray God is going to give you a breakthrough he's going to do it for you amen he's going to come true no matter your heart is hurting the kids are weird and you're thinking oh my God sometimes I wonder if my son is in his right mind I really do sometimes I begin to wonder oh my God did I drop him um, did he knock his head I wonder sometimes is he not getting it right and uh, and I and I I really think sometimes I think because I'm saying God Jesus really um he was baptized my son champs he was baptized in Jamaica and he was small I found the pictures the other day and I gave him one I said put it on your wall and look at it and I put up one for myself he was so tiny and skinny and I remember I used to be very sick very sick very sick when he was small and I left him there and I hear my sister call me one today there to say champs is gonna be baptized and I say thank Thank you, Jesus. And she said, you know what? Nobody had to prompt him or anything. He took his clothes in his bag and he walked all the way to church all by himself. He didn't wait for anybody. And I know that it is an enemy trying to sift him. But in the name of Jesus Christ, amen, I know today is not about me, but my testimony may be able to help somebody. Whatever you've been through in life is not to keep it for yourself. It's to strengthen somebody. Some things you can talk out right and some things you gotta just help somebody in secret. But God will not bring you through nothing for to anything for nothing. He knows that somebody's gonna need your testimony to strengthen them. And when you have been through something, you can tell somebody with all your heart to cause them to understand because you've been there, you have done that, and you can tell somebody what God has done for others, He will do it for you. What he's done for me, he can do it for you. It is no secret. I'm not so very special than anybody else. God will do it. Don't worry yourself. Amen. Today, God is going to do it for somebody. You've been crying. Amen. You've been praying. Your heart has been hurting. Oh, my God. You don't know what to do. You don't know where to turn. But God says it's going to come true for you. He said, press a little harder. He said, press into me. He said, press into me. Press to more. Amen. Sometimes something's happened to you and it's because God wants more of you. Amen. He wants more of you because when everything is going all right, our Father what in heaven. Hallelujah. See you later, Jesus. But when you're going through some situation, it calls you to lay at the altar. It calls you to pour out. It calls you to call his name because he loves when his name is called and he wants you to press into him. He wants to do it for you. But he's saying, come up a little more. Come up a little more. Amen. So this morning, press into Jesus Christ. Press into him. He never get tired. 
Amen. You may call a friend two, three times and after a while they get fed up and say, oh my God, stop calling me. Go sort of your problem yourself. But as many times as possible. You call upon God in the midnight hour, in the daytime, anywhere. And when you cannot find the words to say, just say Jesus. And when you cry, amen, God, when you cry, you're pouring out everything that is inside of you. I remember when I thought I was over the situation with Delisa and accepted it. And I always come in on Mondays and pray. And one day when I came in, my God, and I knelt at the altar and I felt everything just push out of my system and I was crying and calling to God and I couldn't say nothing and I cry, I howl, I hoop, I roll I bawled, amen God but God gave me comfort and he gave me peace that was the day when I said God I can't do this by myself God I don't understand but thank God when I begin to wonder about my situation he showed me Job that lost all his children I did not lost none of mine to death. And I say, thank you, Jesus. He lost everything he got. And he said, I'm going to wait until my change come. He did not give up. He did not curse God. And I continue to see myself in a Job situation. It's not over, but by the power of Jesus Christ, I know that I'm going to go through and come out as fine gold. Amen. It is all right. Mothers, it's going to be all right. Pray and press. Be encouraged. And children, I ask again, do you really love your mothers? Do you know what it means to love your mother? You're not going to want to see her hurt. My mother's still alive in Jamaica. And if something bad happened, I don't want to tell her because I don't want her to worry herself. But she's a praying woman. She always finds out. Amen. And by the time you call, she just tell her exactly what is happening. But I thank God I don't throw things on her because I love her. I want her to live long. Amen. I want her to, I want to see her. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I want her to be alive. I want to be able to call her. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God. God, amen, this morning she lost three children and they were all saved, sweetly saved, I believe. They were all saved, but God see it fit. He had a reason, he had a purpose. My nephew that came to speak here, amen, for youth, for youth week, he, he lost his mother at a tender age. And the worst thing is that it's just two days ago was her birthday. Two, three days. The 10th of May, her birthday is the 10th of May. Mother's Day is today and um. Uh, when I see them put up her picture, amen, and this is always a sad time. She left um, four kids, and this is always a sad time for them. But I thank God for us as aunt that stand in the gap, amen, and we can't pray there. Some, but you know what? She planted a good seed in their lives, and I can see today all four is saved and living for God, and God has kept them. He has strengthened them. So when we're in your ears, children, telling you, do this, don't do that. Come in this time. Don't be on the street. Amen. We don't want you to be sucked in into the destruction of this world. We don't want you to be destroyed. Amen. That's how much we love you. That's how much we care. Amen. Look how much you can see. We put ourselves, our own needs and wants and desire aside to see that you're all right. Children, do you really love your mothers? But again, I say mothers, do not give up. Do not give up. God is right there. Amen. He is an on time God. He may not come when you call, but you can be sure that he's going to come on time. Amen. He is going to come on time. Keep pressing. Keep trusting. Keep believing. Because God is able, everyone standing. Amen. At this time. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. God. We just want to thank you, God, and praise and lift you up. God, I pray in the name of Jesus that even one word would have penetrated a heart, God, here or anywhere. And that God will let somebody know that they can cast all of their care upon you because you care it. Let somebody know that when all is lost, God, you're always, always there. You'll never turn your back on us. 
Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You will never give up on us. Amen. And so, God, because of the love that you show us, we're going to continue to show it unto our kids because we know this morning that, God, you will do what other powers can do. Touch the mothers. Oh, God, breathe upon them. You know the heartaches, oh, God. You know the pain, amen, oh, God. But we are trusting in you that, God, you will undo every burden. That, oh, God, you will lift every yoke in the name of Jesus. And help us to keep the courage and the faith. Help us, God, to continue to look to the hills, amen, God, from whence come our help. In the name of Jesus, mark our kids for greatness. Lift them up, mighty God. Break every fetter, amen, destroy. Destroy the works of the enemy upon the lives of our children this morning. God, touch them and cause them, amen, God, to understand and rebuke the devourer in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus against every spirit and every power that drives and moves them. Oh, God, we declare them delivered and set free in the name of Jesus. We declare them mighty men and women of God. Lift up a standard in their life this morning. Oh God, stay the hands of the enemy and let no weapon that is formed against them be prospered. Oh God, you know the mothers, oh God, who have tried to instill righteousness and holiness in their children and those have turned away because of disobedience and waywardness. But God, we pray that we'll bring them back to the fold this morning. Mighty God, you will put a hook in their jaw. Amen. God, we'll uncuff them. Amen. God, and bring them back to the bleeding side of Calvary this morning. Let them surrender to you, God. Mighty God, give a young man a Paul experience this morning. In the name of Jesus, meet somebody on the way, oh God, to destruction. And shine a light in their lives and blind them to sin, oh God. And open their eyes to righteousness. That, oh God, they will serve you in spirit and in truth. Raise up even one that will stand, amen, God, for holiness. Raise up even one that will stand, amen, God, for righteousness. That others may see, amen, God, I want a pattern in the name of Jesus. Is there anything hard for you? No, there is nothing hard for you. God, see up to the uttermost. See up to the guttermost, oh God. The mother's desire is to see their children saved and protected. And the only one that can do that is you, Jesus. See of them for us, oh God. We can encourage. We can pray. Oh God, we can talk. We can love on them. But unless you save them, God, they will not be saved. God, we give you authority this morning to save them. Amen. God, pull them in. In the name of Jesus. Satan, the Lord, rebuke you. Take your hands of God, children. They will serve the Lord. And they will return to this house. Because this is where they belong. This is where they're covered. Amen. They're not covered anywhere else. They're covered in this house. Amen. God, bring them back. Like only you can this morning. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God, save them this morning. Mighty God, touch the young men of this house. Touch them, God. We know that many are on the outside here, there, and everywhere. But God, today... We're claiming back what is ours. And God, after we have claimed and received what is ours, God will be able to reach out to somebody else. But when our hearts are broken, oh God, when we are sad and weary, amen, God, and our own children are upon our mind, God, we don't mean to be selfish, but oh God, we need to see our children saved. God, we need to see them sit in the presence in the name of Jesus. We need to see their hands lifted in this house. God, bring them back in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we break every fetter. We break every fall this morning. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You will not have our children. The Lord, God, rebuke you this morning. Break every stronghold. In the name of Jesus, break and destroy this morning. Set them free in the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Amen, God. We lift up the prince of this house before you. In the name of Jesus. And we call him to cut out from among them and be separate this morning. And touch not the unclean things. Amen, God. Restore this.
this morning in the name of Jesus. Restore, oh God. Oh God, Jesus, touch the mothers and help us to know that it's going to be all right. God, as a matter of fact, it is all right because you're already working. Amen, God, in the name of Jesus. We got the victory. Help us to walk in it and help us not to curse our children. Oh, God, when we open our mouth, help us to bless them, Lord, and not to curse them. Not to send them out in the hands of the enemy, but to pull them in. Oh God, some will come quicker than the others, but we will press. And we will pray one for another. Because we know, God, that you can do it. Amen. God, lift up. Amen. God, the young men. More than anybody else, God, lift up the young man. Raise them up. Oh God, be a fence around them. Cover them under your blood. Hide them from the hands of the enemy. Hide them, God, in the name of Jesus. Hide them this morning, oh God. Hide them. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen, God, in the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of God. Touch like only you can. Amen, God, in the name of Jesus. Amen, God, touch like only you can. Oh, God, we thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you, God, for hearing. Amen. God, we thank you, Jesus, for answering. God, we thank you that you're going to show us great and mighty things. Oh, God, let them run in. Amen. God, let them crazy. Oh, God, scare them on the outside. Amen. God, scare them in the name of Jesus. Scare them, God. And let them run in the name of Jesus. Let them run in the name of Jesus. Let them run for their lives. And let them realize that the devil is not their friend. Amen. God, the devil and the pleasures of this world is not their friend. The devil is out to kill and to destroy. But God, you came to give life. And to give it more abundantly. Touch your children this morning. Touch the hurting mothers. Bring clarity. Bring peace. Bring understanding. Bring patience, oh God. Give wisdom. Amen, God. Because every child differ. Teach us how to deal with every child. Amen, God. In the name of Jesus. According to their character. Amen, God. According to their ways. According to how you have built them. Mighty God, touch this morning. Like only you can. And God, we lift you up. And we bless your name, God, for remembering us. God, for loving us, for caring for us. Amen, God, in Jesus' name. Amen to our youth pastor. Amen, God, in the name of Jesus. Amen, God, thank you, Lord.